This is the complete review and first couple test cooks on the brand new Monument Denali gas grill. We'll answer the question on is this a good gas grill for you and also show you how evenly it cooks, how hard it is to assemble, and pretty much everything you need to know about the Monument Denali gas grill. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. For this grill, this is how all the parts shook out. Once I got the box open, got everything out and kind of staged ready to assemble. Got all the parts laid out here. Instructions look pretty decent. So we'll start putting this thing together. Got the wheels on the base first, then the sides, then the back, then the two front corner gussets, then that top support with the door magnets. Then the main part goes on the top. You attach the end pieces to the side shelves and attach the shelves to the grill next. Then you hook all that stuff up under there and you hook all that stuff up under there and pop the doors on. Little quick burner test here. Make sure all the burners are running good. They look pretty good. Side burner works great. Fired right up. Now we got the burners on. Gonna we'll let this thing do a little burn off here. Go ahead and turn the control on. It's gonna monitor our grill temp. It's got two probes that it can monitor as well. Only came with one, but it'll monitor two. Just standard probe hookup. Got the side burner going over here. Oh yeah, can't see it's burning clean. So just gonna let this thing burn off for about 20 minutes or so. All right, it's a good looking grill. Now it's gonna be just about time to cook something on it. That's what it looks like all the way around. Lighted knobs, control, probes, pretty cool little gasser. Got the Monument Denali heating up here. I went ahead and seasoned up the grates a little bit more with some bacon grease. I'm gonna drop some corn on the cob up the top on the shelf. Let's go ahead and check the temperature. Get that turned on. We're at 365. That should be plenty. All right, we're gonna go ahead and smack on two big beef burgers and a venison burger along with that corn on the cob. Cook those up. Now we can go ahead and kick back and enjoy a nice spring evening with a frosty beverage and a grill running. Man, ain't nothing like some flame broiled burgers on the grill. And they're not sticking, how about that, huh? That's looking fantastic, y'all. Corn over there, looking great. Now it's taking the grill temp at great level, so we're showing 466 currently, just where you want to be for grilling burgers. Check that temp with our chef's temp probe. Oh yeah, that's about done, 140, 149, 142. Time to cheese them up and get them out of here. I'll turn the grill down. The deer burger is going to be a Reuben burger, so we need to melt that. Get a little Swiss and American for the other two, for the princess. We just let that melt down. Toast up a couple of buns here. Bye. And as usual, everything used in this video is linked down in the description below. Alright, get these buns off here. They're toasted up nicely. Look at that. They look really good. All right. I'd say that first cook on the Monument Denali is a success. And we're going to put that. All right, for tonight, we got a whole big pan of chicken thighs to put on this Monument Gas Grill. This Denali heats up fast and cools down fast. It's only been on for about maybe five minutes or so, and it's ready to cook. This is going to be a fantastic test. I'm going to turn this down because these things are screaming hot right now. Of just how good this thing handles grease. You hear that sizzle on the cast iron grates? They came seasoned. I seasoned them with a little extra bacon grease. And they didn't stick on the burger, so let's see how they do on the chicken thighs. Got my chicken thighs coated with Scott semi famous chicken rub. And if you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notifications, I'm going to be sharing my recipe for Scott semi famous chicken rub later this summer here on the channel. We got it down to low. Now we're just going to let that sit for a minute. Get happy. And they've only been on a couple minutes, those grapes are really hot. And they're looking pretty good, so I'm going to give these a little quick turn here. This is a big secret to gas grills. you got to get those grates hot on your preheat before you slap your food on. 
This thing would really do good if it had a set of grill grates on it, and it probably will end up getting them. But right now, we're going with the stock ones just for this video. Turn that around there. There we go. You can see it's handling those flare-ups just fine. So the Monument Denali gas grill has plenty of horsepower for pretty much any high temperature grilling you're going to want to do. But you also have the control of the four burners, so you can shut them on and off alternately if you need to lower that down a little bit. And the great temperature is cruising along at about 419. That's at great level right where the fire is. Let's have a little peek at how this thing's handling stuff. Yep, doing nice. A peek in there. Yeah, that skin's looking pretty good. We'll flip these over. Go ahead and see how evenly they cooked across the grate. So you can see that thing cooks pretty evenly across that whole surface. That's really, really good. Let's go ahead and plug in that probe that came with it. Make this a little easier. Came with one really nice probe, even though it has spots for two. I'm just going to probe one of these here in the middle, about to right there. Run that through here. And now we don't have to open the grill to check temperatures. We're cruising along at 358, but we just had the lid open, so it's going to climb back up. Let's go ahead and get these stuffed jalapenos on here. We're at about 140, 144 on the chicken. And I want these to have plenty of time to cook up nice and soft and get a little bit of that crust on the pepper skin on the outside. That right, looks pretty close to done. Let's get a little quick temperature check on this other probe. The chef temp says we need a little bit longer at 167. That one's done. That one needs a little bit longer. So they're close. So yeah, those chickens look fantastic. We'll get some of these things off of here. Let the rest of them finish cruising. That one's done. We'll get that one off there. Anything close to 175, I'm totally good with. Now I want you to see how good this grease system works. Hopefully it shows it down there pretty well. But you can see this grease pan is doing a great job. It's got a good slope on it. And all that grease is going right down into that little hole and dropping into the grease pan under the grill. We love stuffed jalapenos. When we can find these big ones, we get them and do some of them up on the grill. That's going to be great. And look at that chicken right there. That's about as good as it's going to get right there off a gas grill. So overall, I can tell you the Monument Denali gas grill has really nice even temperatures across the whole range of that grate. You can cook on the entire grate surface, which makes it really nice and roomy. And having the dual probe capacity to monitor the temperature of your food is also something a lot of gas grills just don't have. The warming rack is great for cooking corn on the cob or just keeping things warm, smoking up your buns, things like that. The grill is relatively lightweight for its size. The wheels roll great, but when you don't want it to roll at all, you can set the parking brake and it's not going anywhere. That's just one wheel locked. And you can see it's real easy to work. And I got to tell you, of all the grills I've had with wheels, that's probably the easiest to use of any of them I've had. As usual, links to everything used in this video are down in the description below. If you have any questions about this great grill from Monument Grills, please leave them down there in the comments. Give me that thumbs up like button. Don't forget to subscribe down there and hit the bell icon so you don't miss videos like this one when they come out. We'll see you next time.